This is an outrage. We shall chase these intruders down. All right, and we're back. Uh, what is he talking about, man? I thought it was further than that. No. The creature barely spoke English. Okay, well, let's just talk to Lord Redgrave. I just got done watching e Microsoft's uh, E3, man, and I gotta say, man, it was amazing. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Spera. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? You are spying on me. Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Bansher was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Volkod. All muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. <laughs> you do know I killed him. Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Uh... I have met peaceful and wise Skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skulls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club, and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Alright, cool. Oh shit, what's going on? Investigate. Find the source of infection in the West End. Can I kill these guys? Or are they vampires too? Okay, ask locals about the possible sources of infection in the West. Uh, shit. Can I just talk to anybody? Oh. No, I can't. Oh, are you? Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. I feel perfectly fine. Do I have cause for concern? Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, <laughs> you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, 
Vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Ah. Are you not afraid? You are surrounded by vampires. Sir, it's for that very reason that I joined the club in the first place. So you asked for membership? I have been a member of many clubs in many countries. But I must admit, this one is my favorite. Is not the nature of this club a secret shared by only a privileged few? My dear Dr. Reed, I have spent years and a fortune precisely to gather that kind of information. Mr. Dawson, of Dawson and Dawson, the wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. Words. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. What is the situation like in this part of town? I am sure Lord Redgrave will enlighten you more effectively than I. What do you know about the Guard of Prewen? I should not say this. But I admire their commitment. This is what the nation needs right now. Would you help them? No. There is a time for such methods. But brute force will not be enough to fight this plague. We have to think differently. But they are our enemies. They are not mine, Dr. Reed. Mm -hmm. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. A formidable, unscalable wall. To okay, isolate Trump. the deserving from the infected masses. Okay. But that would segregate the rich from the poor, would it not? It would be unjust. Our only course of action must be to save England. And to save England, we have to make sacrifices. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns. Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. What a douchebag. Alright, let's go ahead and start this investigation. There we go. Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am. I am. Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. The fuck? I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats carry it, I heard. Rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell, too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. Not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no light, no life left. I must go now. Oh. Uh, 
reach the first source of infection. That was quick. I wasn't expecting the first person to find to give me a lead. Is there anyone else around here? Am I going the right way? Let me look at my map. Uh, okay, I gotta take a left here. Why oh. are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. You gonna find nothing over there, boy? Level 28, bro. Shit, I'm doing no damage to these guys. Oh, they can still disrupt you in that? Come on, bitch. Oh, oh, it's like a, a zone I can't attack him in. <laughs> I can just walk in here. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. That's bullshit, bruh. Remember your vows, friends. Oh shit, I'm about to die. That's pretty cheap. Ah, oh, how is he not dead? What the hell? I just keep walking back and forth. Uh, this is bull crap, man. You only get like 5 XP for each of these kills, too. What the hell? Oh, I'm like, yeah, who's around here? Okay. Should be fine for now. Oh, shit. know how to defend himself. He got scraped. There we go. Is there anybody in here? Oh, God. What happened this here? This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. I sense a vampire. Oh, what was that? Gotta check everything, man. Oh, 
Whoa, this guy's He had his too. tongue removed ah. and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. Oh my god. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. Jesus. Anything else I can loot? Oh, wait. Alright, let's go. your family they mocked my talent oh my god level 28 oh god oh this is that chick that was laying on the ground in that one house bitch damn no damage at all yeah just stand there <laughs> Just take that damage out. Oh shit. There we go. Oh shit. Oh god. I'm still taking DPS. Oh goodness. It's not good. Oh! <laughs> oh no! If I get smacked by her once, is that it? Oh my god, I was close. Come on. I just don't know when to attack. That acid is still there. Ooh, that was one smack right there. Oh no, I just... Oh god. Okay. Oh no! No, no, no! Ah! No, 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 no! Oh god. Oh my god, dude. I have nothing, man. I need it. I need your blood. Oh no. What? Oh, come on. Ah, bitch. Mutation. Could oh it be my a new God. stage in the disease's evolution? Okay. Gather information in the first source of infection. I, I thought I did that. I thought that was the whole point of me uh, coming down here. What the hell? Oh, here it goes. Okay, it's with greatest joy that I 
confirm with this letter your acceptance as a private student into my acting school. The little scene you had, the kindness to perform me last week. So remember, please. So remember to uh, bring the night attire and anything you may need to spend the week at my school. So she got accepted. So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Huh. She just killed her family out of like, what, her abilities or some shit? Like, did her becoming a vampire just corrupt her, I guess? Let's get out of here. Good evening, Calhoun sir. Shot. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Doctor... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand? Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. Okay. Okay, I reached the second source. Where did all these other people come out from? What the hell? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Alright, whatever. Okay, the second is okay over here, which is behind me. Don't let any strangers Oh, it's gonna be locked, isn't it? That building is under quarantine. Uh, Could this be what I'm looking for? Okay, so how am I gonna get on the other side of this? Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. Of oh, freaking course. Let me guess, level 28. Oh, 22, that's not bad. Oh, whoa! Oh, shit. Oh! oh what? Yeah! No, you've done it! Blood? Is that what that said? <laughs> I just slit his stomach open. Anybody here? I find it funny I couldn't sense that other one in my vampire senses. That was kind of weird. Um, let's check this. 
<gasps> a pump action shotgun? Yo. It's already level... What, is it already level 5? Dude. I gotta equip this shit. Oh, it's level 4. Oh my god. Wow, that is... That's immediately... Where is it? Where'd it go? Okay. There we go. Ooh, wee. There we go. Finally, I got a shotgun. Or a better one, at least. Put that to good use. I don't normally uh, switch out my weapons, like, mid-combat. I need to start doing that. Expecting that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, it just does damage. It doesn't really. It doesn't stun him. Oh, God, I just ran into the poison. Jesus Christ, that did a lot. He's almost dead. Ah, oh, I wanted to shoot him off. Fuck. Poison is bothersome. There we go, take that shit. Whoa, all that damage? Shit, man, that shit is everywhere. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What the hell? Oh, shit. What? She had me. Shotgun is the truth. Oh man. I just need to get the uh, perks for it. I should be fine. 
Okay, so now I just gotta look for a certain piece of information here. Should be good to go. I meant to reload it. There it goes. Thank you for the precious perfume and the fur coat. I can't wait to feel your hands on my shivering skin. Okay, uh, and I promise you a night of eternal and unbridled passion. Oh, yeah. Right now I'm wearing nothing but your last gift. Oh, yes, I'm burning for you. I can't wait for you to share my untamable lust. Okay. So the husband had an affair with Doris oh, Fletcher. Okay. Uh oh. Alright, so what now? Grand. I can't even pronounce that word. Locate doors, Fletcher's Theater. Oh, I have 5,000 XP. Holy crap, yo. I need Doris to get to a Fletcher safe Fletcher seems to be the missing link here. It can't just be a coincidence. I should go to her acting school. Yeah, right after I level up. Hold on. I'll probably just cut to me actually going up to the, uh,. To the school or I might just cut that into another video I don't know we'll see oh this fool got a mansion what what the hell someone's here oh is that the butler dude oh it is good evening Avery mr. Jonathan I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, it's a miracle. We all thought you were... Oh, sir, your poor sister. What a tragedy. I know, Avery. I know about my sister's murder. Miss Reed expected you to return to assist with the funeral. Right up until the last minute. Where have you been, Mr. Jonathan? We needed you here. How is my mother? Not well, I'm afraid, sir. Miss Reed is very fragile since the police brought her back home. The police? What happened? Miss Reed was found walking in the streets. She kept saying she had spoken with her son and daughter. She's resting now. Well, I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> Has she received appropriate medical care? I'm taking care of Miss Reed myself. Hospitals are so overwhelmed by the epidemic that they can only accept patients infected by influenza. Oh, whoa, what's this? Every is the only one who is looking after... Oh, wow, really? Perhaps we could arrange a short trip. Somewhere sunny, like France. She has always been very fond of France. I think leaving London could do her good. I'm afraid Miss Reed is too frail for the moment. Recently, she started going out at night without remembering it. I have to watch her carefully. Oh, boy. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir. But your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead. Aww. And I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. Damn, he'll, he's lonely, man. Every has been paid to take care of the Reed family until his last breath. Okay. Oh, uh, man. Um. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. 
and I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. <laughs> you really think I don't take enough care of my mother, Avery? Yes, I do, Mr. Jonathan. You clearly have something more to say. Speak your mind, Avery. I know you work hard to help the sick, but what will you do once the epidemic is over? That's a good question, man. My home is here, and I have nowhere else to go. But this house will need some improvements if I move here. Some radical changes. That's good news. Whatever changes you have in mind, I'm sure we will find an arrangement that suits your mother also. Oh, one more hint, man. I got all the... Oh, maybe I have to talk to my moms. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's... Or maybe Goodbye, killing him unlocks Avery. that. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. But please return as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... I could rest here, apparently. I didn't realize it'd be my house, though. Mother, good evening. Jonathan, is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal son? I'm right here, Mother. I'm finally home. Yes, but this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, Mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. What? Why do you say Mary is visiting you, Mother? You know that's impossible. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? But I'm not dead, Mother. I'm really here, talking to you, trying not to cry. Oh, it breaks my heart to have to tell you this. But of course you're dead, my darling boy. What? Just look at you, as pale as my Mary. Oh, she knows. But Mary really is dead, Mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? She's healthy, okay. Uh... Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent technique. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? She's not famous, and her name is of no importance. And yes, she is also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome her into my home. Do you need anything, Mother? Can I help you? 
I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. I asked Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Do you need anything else? Just one thing. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty and dead eyes. Damn, dude. <laughs> oh. You think Avery is right? Do you think I should take better care of you? I don't blame you, but you abandoned me, son. A mother should not survive her children. It's unbearable to know you're not here anymore. I know I have failed you since I returned. I even watched you bury Mary from a distance. From now on, I will protect you. You have my word. You don't have to apologize to me, Johnny. Do you think I did not notice how much you have changed? Have I changed that much, Mother? Am I still your son? You are still, and you'll always be. Despite your pale skin, your bloody eyes, and that echoing sadness in your voice. Yo, does she know or not? Like, it's... Oh, man. Have you returned? Whitechapel Cemetery since Mary's funeral. I never want to go back to that awful place. Wait. I think I went back once. You did. And you were there too. And Mary? Can I just tell her? No. That can't be true. It was just a bad dream, Mother. A nightmare, yes. Mary was so angry. I walked back home alone. If that kind policeman had not called Avery from the station, I don't know what would have happened. Tell me, Mother, how are you? All alone in this big house with only Avery to take care of you. I'm sad most of the time. Sad that you have left me here alone. Sad that you don't tell me when you come or go. I'm so sorry, Mother. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was coming home. I was home. London. Thames, and then it happened. What happened, Johnny? Oh. I was attacked, Mother. And I've not been the same since. The important thing is that you finally returned home. I was worried, you know. You were the last member of the family of whom I had no news. Even Mary comes more often than you. Yo, she hates me, dog. Mother, do you know what's been going on in this area? Not really. I don't go out much due to the epidemic, and when I do, I tend to get lost. What do you mean, you get lost? I hope you don't go outside alone. Of course not. When I go out, your father always comes with me, but he leaves me there sometimes, and I have trouble finding the way back. What? Oh god, I could easily just kill her if I wanted to. <laughs> um, but you don't kill your mother, man. You don't do that. Goodbye, mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. Okay, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. It's uh, I just thought it'd be important to show off his, I guess, manner or family too. What? How is this a hideout? I mean, why is it a hideout? But uh, yeah, I guess I'll just get to the next part after I level up and do all this stuff. It might be a long one, it might not, I don't know. But yeah, just give me a sec. Alright, cool, we're back. I it took me a while to get here, man. Can't go in there, though. Find an access. Oh, shoot. I'm glad I didn't aggro them. I might have to. There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that. Man, it took me a while to find this entrance, yo. Like, when I say a while, I mean like 15 minutes, dude. <laughs> like, holy shit. Okay, here we go. Okay, Doris Fletcher's acting school. There's gotta be someone in here, right? Oh, a note. 
Uh, that's a suicide note. Pause it if you want to read it. I don't want to read it, man. That's too depressing. Woe to you, nations of hypocrites. For in front of you stands the tall queen. We already know who you that is. You can but lower your head. Can that be Doris Fletcher's yeah. voice? Where does it come from? From the stage? I mean, we are upstairs. Come on. Oh, shit, yo. Got to explode. Oh, I don't want to go in here just yet. Gotta explore a bit, you know. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Me all that. Oh, I don't want to jump down either. Hold on. Her diary. For in front of you stands the tall queen. You can but lower your head. These guys are still kind of high, man. I feel like I'm gonna stop increasing my endurance or stamina right here and just increase my blood magic. Or blood abilities, not blood magic, jeez. Cause it's still kind of low from the rest of my uh, stats, so. Just kind of exploring this place first before I get to her. I don't want to miss anything. What up, kid? Is this that same room? It is. Oh, just oh, lower your head. Bid only to smirk at her soil. I have this thirst for blood. It's locked. Who are you? You who dared enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah. But Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you. But I can help you. 
I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until then, all shall die. For that was her final wish. All right, let's do it. Another I boss fight? I summon thee, my children of the night. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's almost 30, bro. Oh, you bitch. Level one, bro? Oh, wow, that took away half my shit. Your hand is shaking. Come to me. Me. Oh, she didn't even flinch. Uh, on guard. Come here. Oh, oh. Bullshit out of here. I smell your fear. Uh, she's mad slow, though. Your hand is shaking. Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she. Holy now. shit. Will she be the queen again once they all share her face? <laughs> oh my god, my health is like draining. Your blood will be oh! mine. Oh, what? Come on. Oh my god, that looks like that might hurt. Ooh. Arise and save your queen, my slave. You killed my father. Oh, I can get out of the fucking stage, okay. Why am I getting hit so bad? Oh, God. What the hell was that? Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, bro. Oh. Oh. No. No. Why am I dying out here, man? My children. My beloved. Oh. That's all I can do to him right now. Just this. Look at all those bodies, dude. Bitch! Oh my god, that move is ridiculous. There we go. Oh, I got a sword too! Wait. I beg you, wait. What? I... I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? 
No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Get my phone, dude. Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <gasps> Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. I wanted to drink that blood, man. Bravo! So dramatic! I love it! McCullum! How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together... Oh boy. I'm sure we'll have a little chat. You and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. Alright, well. I should probably leave the theater right now. Uh, I guess we'll... Escape from the theater in <laughs> the theater. Yeah, the theater in the next one, man. Uh, deuces. <laughs> I don't know if they're following me or not, but yeah, see ya. Holy shit.